Hey everyone, it's Scott with YouGetRipped.com. I'm here in the car. I wanted to answer a quick YouTube subscriber question that I received uh, just the other day. Uh, summer's approaching, as you probably already know, and everyone is wanting to know, hey, how do I get ripped? How do I do this, right? And I'm getting frustrated because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm scaling back my calories, I'm working out, but, uh, you know, the results are not happening. Well, there's a bunch of different reasons this could be happening, but the one uh, question that he had was, you know, Scott, I went to your website. I looked at the BMR calculator. If you haven't been there already, you can go there. You can basically check out what your resting uh, rate is as far as your calorie intake, what you need to maintain your weight. That's so very important when you're trying to lose weight because if you don't know that, you don't know how many calories your body needs to maintain and then how many you're going to have to cut back or add if you want to gain uh, muscle or anything. Uh, but usually if your calories are, let's say, uh, 2,000 calories a day, um, you're going to want to scale that back to maybe 15, 1600, and then that way there you're going to lose some weight. But his question was, you know, I I looked at your you know your calculator, I figured that out, I scaled back my calories, but I'm just not losing weight. You know, how come? I, I'm a he's a young kid too. I mean, he's I think he's in high school or he's just graduated high school. Um, I think he's six foot tall, maybe 175 pounds, which isn't overweight by my standards. But who knows? Maybe you're just trying to get those abs to come through. You're at a, a, a weight right now that's really actually difficult unless you stay on, on track. You, you really have not a lot of room to, uh, to vary and have a lot of cheat days, all right? You want to keep your calories under uh, your, your maintenance uh, amount. And if you don't do that on a consistent basis, you're going to just, you're going to kind of do like a yo-yo. You're going to go up and down, up and down take it from someone that knows. I'm personally almost that exactly. I'm almost six foot tall and I'm about 170, 175 pounds. But if I want to get down to 168 pounds or 165 pounds because I want my abs to come through, well, then I'm going to have to scale back my calories. If my maintenance is 2,000, I'm going to have to go down to 1,500. It's not an easy thing to do all the time. The other problem he was having was, you know, Scott, I'm, I'm in school and, you know, I, I get my lunch break and, you know, I only have a certain amount of time to eat my stuff. Well, you got to plan your day a little bit, and you really need to be tracking your calories. Now, I use uh, MyFitnessPal, which is an iPhone app. You can also use uh, Spark People, and both of them are online. You can just go to the website and use them. But if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to track your calories, just figure out your daily uh, calories for the day. You know, do a little bit of work up front. Figure out what all the calories are, what your fats are, what your proteins are, what your carbs are, and then just break it down and structure it and then plan your day and only eat that through the day. But this way here, you're not going to be surprised. You're not going to be like, oh, I'm so hungry. I want to swing over to McDonald's. Uh, so that's really the key here. The key is consistency. All right? You can't do this for three days and say, why aren't I losing any weight? You have to do it consistently, consistently on a daily basis. And you got to give yourself at least two to three weeks before you're going to start seeing any results. Now, if you're overweight, I mean by 50 pounds, yeah, you might be able to drop five to eight pounds, 10 pounds a week uh, you know, for the first week or two. It all depends on the individual. So figure out what your resting uh, metabolism or your you know calorie intake is as far as like when you're just sleeping how much how many calories you're burning get your BMR um, you can go to our website at yougetripped.com and find that out but that's really what you want to do here is you really need to figure that out and once you do that you'll know if you're on track to lose those those pounds all right so that's it that's a little question I just wanted to answer for you this is Scott with yougetripped.com get out there get fit get healthy and enjoy life all right I'll talk to you later. Now you get wrecked.